hallucinations, personality explosions, and overly happy people make these kinds of big screen mishaps highly entertaining. Hey, is this coke smell funny? <laughs> oh, f Michael. F Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 accidentally getting high scenes in movies. <laughs> For this list, we're focusing on films where the characters themselves mistakenly or unintentionally get high with memorable results. Hey, you, Britain! Respect. And are naive about what is actually happening. Isn't this the best milkshake ever, Alice? Mm. We're excluding drunkenness, but we are not limiting our choices to drug-related incidents alone. So alternate ways of getting high are also being considered. Hey! <laughs> What are you guys doing? Nothing. But you know, before we go, I just want to take one more quick dump. Number 10. Coke or artificial sweetener, Starsky and Hutch. What we got is a bag of artificial sweetener. You probably can't help but laugh at the thought of an all-powerful law-abiding cop getting doped up without realizing it. Thank you, big girl. Enter David Starsky, an over-the-top police officer who is too serious about his job and has too macho of a persona to let himself have any real fun. Mm. Until this scene, that is, where he accidentally mixes cocaine into what truly becomes the most exciting hot beverage he'll probably ever consume. The angel and the dream. Starsky eventually finds himself shredding it up on the dance floor, almost shirtless, with a personality that would make anyone the life of the party. Here comes Starsky again. Oh, drop him that disco big rig. Shift gear. Number 9. Charlie's Cannabis Brownie, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Oh, Charlie. You look like you could use a brownie. When you're the shy kid at one of your first teenage parties, the best thing to do is accept a mysterious brownie from someone you don't really know, right? Well, in this scene, Charlie does exactly that. Not knowing the sweet treat he's about to consume is actually laced with cannabis. And why do they give out letter jackets to marching band? It's not a sport. The mystery ingredient prompts a personality explosion. He rants in hilarious frustration about random topics and even manages to insult his future girlfriend's haircut. Mary Elizabeth, I think you're really going to regret that, you know, sure. haircut when you look back at old photographs. <laughs> if there was a gold medal for coming out of your shell without knowing it, Charlie wins by a mile. How do you feel, Charlie? I just really want a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Uncle Benny and the Laughing Gas, Lethal Weapon 4. Benny? No one ever said the Lethal Weapon movies had to be completely serious or in no way comedic. In this scene from the fourth installment of the Buddy Cop flicks, we are treated to the interrogation of Uncle Benny. I'm sleeping with my wife's two sisters. <laughs> <laughs> lucky son of a bitch. The cops corner him during his dentist appointment, turning up the gas to force the truth out of him. Not so good. <laughs> When my wife finds out. <laughs> the guys accidentally leave the gas on, though, and the longer they're in the room, the more relaxed they become, resulting in a hysterical outcry of laughter, followed by tears and then more laughter. <laughs> Sometimes it's funnier laughing at nothing. Number 7. Josie's Special Cake, Never Been Kissed. You know, we have a special cake for you. What do you get when a naive news reporter attends a party no one wants her to be at? A not so good situation that we can't help but love. Ganja cake. It has vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin T, H, and C. Josie's new so called friends offer her ganja cake. <laughs> Naturally, she has no idea ganja means marijuana, and mouthfuls later she ends up dancing on stage, laughing at almost everything, eating an entire pie, wondering why forks are forks. You know what's a weird word, fork? <laughs> and then wondering who the hell ate that pie. Oh my god, someone ate my entire pie. However naive she was, she sure rocked this. 
Number 6. Marcus on E, Bad Boys 2. Oh, man. Supple leather, you know. When you're about to report to your boss, we recommend not doing so while intoxicated. See how good it feels? Then again, we're kind of not complaining in this case, as Martin Lawrence provides us with an unforgettable doped up Marcus who had accidentally ingested ecstasy while investigating a mortuary. Listen, we need this warrant. Do not f this up. Pull yourself together. All right. The results are undeniably both comedic and cringeworthy, as Marcus's deep breathing, uncontrollable sweating, and abnormal fascination with his surroundings leave us squirming and smiling. You have a Von Swale. It's so overly hilarious and memorable that we truly never wanted this scene from the Bad Boys sequel to end. This is a nice fish, you know? Big fucking eyes, but a nice fucking fish. Number 5. Schmidt and Jenko's Wi-Fi Hallucinations, 22 Jump Street. They made us! They're gonna kill us! In attempting to uncover the dealers of Wi-Fi, a drug whose name stands for Work Hard, Yes, Play Hard, Yes, the duo from this action comedy is offered delicious treats made by their roommates. We're having a bad trip! I think we are tripping. This is great. As the treats contain the drug itself, they enable this scene to get better and better, as undercover Schmidt and Jenko fall into a drug trip that lands them on opposite sides. My side's so much scarier than yours. Oh shit, your trip sucks. You should come over here, it's way better. Okay. On the left, Schmidt is dropped into a world of darkness as he tries to break into the right, where resides Jenko's rainbow fantasy of bright colors, dancing footballs, and that ass and titty song. Ass and titty. Sometimes the worst accidents lead to some of the most memorable hallucinations, and this scene is a testament to that fact. Where are you going? I'm just gonna go up for a little while, okay? Stay, stay here. No, I don't wanna stay here, I'm fine. Number four, Space Cakes, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. Bon appetit. What is this? Space cake. TJ Hicks isn't the most trustworthy friend, as demonstrated by his happily giving Deuce space cake at a restaurant in this comedy sequel. It's what the astronauts eat, like Tang. And so, after Deuce insists that he will never dream of getting high, he does, well, exactly that. You sure you don't want any? No. Never been high, never gonna be. We're then taken on Deuce's drug trip, in which he journeys out of the restaurant and into a painting where his sexual fantasies come to life. Sorta. Kiss my chest. Okay. Reality eventually kicks in, though, and provides us with one of the more memorable moments in the Deuce Bigelow franchise. Ah! Ah! Get off of my titty, you doped up cracker! Number three, Simon gets high on Valium, death at a funeral. Come on, step forward. Our man of the moment Simon begins to chronically panic on the way to his fiancée's uncle's funeral. Absolutely, it's just Valium. She gives Simon what is thought to be Valium in the hopes of calming him down, but it's eventually discovered to be an hallucinogenic drug. Something's not right. The results are both catastrophic and highly entertaining, as we witness the unfolding of an unintentionally drugged up man reaching laughable levels of crazy. And to his bow. The more wide-eyed he becomes, the better this scene gets, and we can't help but enjoy how openly lost Simon seems. There's someone alive in there! Simon, where are you going? What the hell is wrong with you all? Also, he ends up naked on the roof. Comedic genius. Come inside, we'll have a cup of tea. No! Number two, Coke or Salt, Modern Times. Mistaking drugs for food is a common theme on this list, but this silent movie scene beats them all. In this black and white comedy, Charlie Chaplin plays a prisoner who mistakenly saturates his dinner courtesy of a shaker of salt spiked with cocaine. And he becomes more and more excited as he enjoys his specially flavored meal. Going from excessive twirling to wide-eyed excitement, he gains sudden confidence, saves officers from a potential prison riot, and is hailed as a hero. It's a true example of Charlie Chaplin's incredible ability to create memorable moments in film, and slapstick gold. Number 
Before we go loopy over our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I feel like everything's gonna work out, you know? Cause I'm like a machine, you know? Look how fast I'm picking out this yeah. crap, you know? You I'm wanna, moving like super fast, I can't even feel my nose. Can I get in here? Do you wanna know what's weird? Yeah. That I feel like I should be panicking right now. You saved my white ass, Andy. No problem, brethren. Big up the herbal tea, aye? Oh, I got it. Well, I can. I can hear my hair growing. You want some soup? Oh, I got this at the bake sale for the environment that those boys are having. You know, you don't often see white boys with the dreadlocks. Number one, the most acid I've ever seen anybody eat, up in smoke. I think we're parked, man. In this Cheech and Chong classic, Man, confident that he can help his new friend Pedro, gives him what he thinks is Valium to calm him down. Take these, what? man. Take these. This will melt you up, man. Seconds later, he realizes the error, and the results are, well... Oh. Hey, hey, don't take those, man. Let's just say we can't tell which character is going crazier, as they both enter wild panic mode. You just ate the most acid I've ever seen anybody eat in my life. The undeniable comedic value of this scene is priceless, and it's gone down as one of the most memorable drug scenes in the history of film. Oh, what? Do it, man. Oh, oh. Just try not to laugh. Uh, what's the problem, son? <laughs> Do you agree with our list? No more space cakes for you. Which accidentally getting high scene is your favorite? I've never f***ing done cocaine, dude! What is the f***? Well, you did the best shit possible for your first time. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. My grandma drank all my pot.